Good afternoon everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. In the third video on sine and cosine rule, we are going to calculate the size of a triangle, not necessarily a right angle triangle, it could be any triangle using the cosine rule. And the cosine rule has this unique formula, so a squared, the length there, the red line, is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c cosine a. Before we do this method, if you cannot do the sine rule, then you should try to do the cosine rule. There are two rules you need to comply for the cosine rules to work. First, you must have three known values and one unknown value. The unknown value is the one you're going to find. And the second rule is that you must have two sides and the included angle. It means that if I have B and C, I must have angle A. If I have I have length B and A, then I must have angle C. So that's the rule that you need to know. Okay. Again, the angle the angles are uh, represented by the uppercase A, B, and C, and the opposite sides. Opposite of A is and is little a. Opposite of B is lowercase b, and opposite of C is the lowercase c. So the formula is again a squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. And don't forget you are interested in a. So once you got the answer for a squared, you need to square root. So again, the rules that you need to have is that you need to have at least three known values and the unknown value is the one you're going to find out. And you need to have two sides and the included angle. Then we are able to find the third side. We shall look at the example now and let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's go. The first example, you have the angle A is 41 degrees and C is 6.1 and B, the length of B is 4.7. So you have three known values, 41 degrees, 6.1 and 4.7. So rule one is acceptable. The rule two is that you must have two sides and the included angle. So in this case, it happens again. So we can use the cosine rule. So the formula, the cosine rule is given on the right here. A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2 bracket B bracket C cosine A. So now we know all the A, B and C we are going to substitute. So we are going to find this line here, the a squared. So we're going to continue. So a squared is equals to, instead of b, you're going to put 4.7 squared plus your c squared is 6.1 squared. Then you're going to minus 2 bracket 4.7, 6.1 cosine and the angle is 41 degrees okay so we will do slowly so we shall do the first part first put in your calculator 4.7 squared plus 6.1 squared and we come up to 59.3 check with me now you're going to put in your calculator 2 multiplied by 4.7 multiplied by 6.1 multiplied by cosine 41 and i've done the calculation before it's going to be 40 3.28 so far so good yes now put in your calculator 59.3 minus 43.28 and we get 16.02 again as i told you before we are interested in a the length a other than a squared so to get your a you need to square root the answer 16.02 and i've done the calculation before and the answer come up to 4 0.002 and the unit is centimeter and that will give you an achieve not too bad isn't it great now we are looking at the second example the second example same triangle i mean slightly different triangle with different numbers so we know that the angle here angle z is 77 the length y is 4.5 and the length x is 3.6 so we are going to find the length z so the formula is z squared equal to x squared plus y squared minus 
multiply by x, multiply by y, multiply by cosine z. What's the next step? The next step is simple. We are going to substitute. Instead of x squared, we're going to put 3.6 squared. Instead of y squared, it's 4.5 squared. And then you're going to minus 2, multiply by 3.6, multiply by 4.5. And then we're going to put cosine of the angle, which is 77. So far, so good. Okay, now we're going to do the first part first. Okay, 3.6 squared plus 4.5 squared. Put your calculator. And I found the answer to be 33.21. Then we're going to do the second part. Put in the list calculator. 2 multiplied by 3.6 multiplied by 4.5 multiplied by cos 77. If I'm not wrong, the answer is 7.29. Then put in your calculator again. Minus them. And the answer comes up to 25.92. Is that the answer? No, because you are interested in z rather than z squared. So you need to square root the answer. So z is the square root of 25.92. Put in your calculator, the square root of 25.92 comes up to 5.09 centimeter. And that will give you an achieve in your internal. So keep on practicing. And before long, you find the sine rule and cosine rule just a piece of cake. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Cheers.